This is Nine News. Good morning. We begin in South Australia where family and friends are in shock after a father drove himself and his two young children off the end of a wharf in Port Lincoln. Reporter Elise Baker is following the story and joins me now. Elise, the community is struggling to come to terms with this tragedy. Just terrific circumstances. Elise Baker reporting there. Thank you. To Sydney now, where police are trying to piece together what sparked an argument in the city's southwest that later saw a man die in hospital. Nine's Gabrielle Boyle is at the scene in Claymore. Gabby, talk us through what happened. Gabrielle Boyle reporting there, thank you. Labor is demanding an investigation into a leaked photo of the female diplomat whose complaint against Jamie Briggs led to his resignation from the ministry. It comes as the Prime Minister issued a statement expressing his anger over the publication of the photo, saying publishing the identity not only infringes their privacy, it serves actively to discourage other women concerned about the conduct of a superior from raising a complaint in the future. Authorities say they're closer to identifying a masked man with a British accent who appears in the latest ISIL propaganda video. The man features alongside a small boy in the chilling footage, claiming to show five alleged British spies being executed. UK Prime Minister David Cameron says despite the shocking video, his country will not cower to the group. Plenty more to come in Nine's morning news, including a frightening warning for families after a popular Christmas gift sparked a large house fire in Melbourne. Plus, gun sales booming. Americans react to President Obama's tough rhetoric on tighter controls. And we've got the latest on Chris Gale's controversial comments that sparked a sexism debate. A family of five has had a lucky escape after a child's Christmas present caught fire and nearly burnt their Melbourne home to the ground. As Madeline Slattery explains, it's the latest accident sparked by a hoverboard. West Indies cricketer Chris Gale has apologised for propositioning a female commentator live on air during last night's Big Bash game in Hobart. Emily Rice is in Melbourne with the latest. Emily, what did Chris have to say? Now, Cricket Australia is trying to bring more women into the game and this is certainly the last thing they need right now. Indeed. All right, thank you. Well, Corey Norris joins me now with the rest of the day's sport. Good morning to you, Corey. Good morning, Julie. Still ahead this morning, Jane McGrath Day at the Cricket. We're live to the SCG next for all the latest. A captain's knock from the Renegades' Aaron Finch sinks Hobart and the Aussie who's dominating in the Dakar Rally. Hello again, day three of the New Year's Test is always a special occasion as cricket fans gather to celebrate the life of Jane McGrath. Let's go live to Neil Breen at the SCG. Good morning to you, Neil. The players are off the field at the moment, but there's still plenty of money being raised for the McGrath Foundation. And Australian Toby Price is leading the motorcycle category of the Dakar Rally after taking out the second stage in Argentina. Good luck to him, Julie. That's our sport. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Still to come is finance and the latest weather. Checking the weather for you now and around the country today in Brisbane, showers in a top of 26 degrees and a top of 33 in Darwin. To your Wednesday now, clearing showers in Brisbane, the chance of rain in Sydney for 23 degrees, partly cloudy in Adelaide and storms in Perth for 39. Let's take a look at finance now. The share market has dropped more than 1% in response to a rocky start to 2016 on Wall Street. The All Lords is currently down at 58 points. The Aussie dollar is generally stronger against the majors. It's worth 71 US cents, 85 Japanese yen and 48 British pence. That's Nine's morning news for this Tuesday. For the latest on all of our stories, you can visit ninenews.com.au. I'm Julie Snook. Thanks very much for your company.